So welcome to season four. I've got a emergency. I've got a scoop. I've got a, well, you just need to know. I've got a news update on insurance. I'll also do a Venezuelan update. I was going to, to put up the Salinas video, but I'll have to do that after this. This came up last night. <clears throat> this was signed Monday, the 23rd, which for me right now is yesterday, and I'll put the document here. It's an interesting read. I was afraid that I misunderstood part of it, so I sent it off to a friend of mine, um, an Ecuadorian, and she read it and she said, no, you pretty much got it. So here's the scoop, it's on the health insurance. If you're here after, after 90 days, you have to have insurance. What's interesting about this that Moreno signed is that there's a little speech in there about how the Constitution of Ecuador uh, decrees that everyone is, is to have equal treatment and that the borders are free and open borders and everyone has a legal status regardless of their paperwork. So it goes on and on with all this stuff, <clears throat> which is, well, keep that opinion to myself. But it proceeds to say how to make this equal for foreigners that for some reason they need to have health insurance so that when they go to get treatment, if there's an emergency, that they'll be given the same level of treatment as someone here for to make this equal. And I completely don't get that because first of all, Ecuadorians aren't required to buy insurance. So what the heck is he talking about? Um, I would have felt much better about it if he just come out and said, we don't want a bunch of freeloaders coming here and taxpayers here have to pay for it. Hey, I respect that. And that's really what it boils down to. Now, I'm not sure what they're going to do with Colombians, Venezuelans, other people that come to this country. Um, I haven't heard anything about requiring there. But it does bring up an interesting point. Last month, there was an agreement signed between Ecuador and Colombia where they will respect each other's citizens as far as healthcare is concerned. So if you're from Colombia and you come here to Cuenca and let's say you're sick, then you could just go to the hospital and they'll take care of it. And if you're from Cuenca and you go to Colombia and something happens, they'll just take care of it. So they have this agreement, which makes me wonder, then why don't people here just go over to Colombia, buy their complete health insurance for $37 a month, since it's definitely going to be honored and respected here. So I, I don't know about that. Um, <clears throat> there is no information still as to specifically what's considered approved. Uh, so for lack of information, pretty much anything is going to be approved because there's nothing to say that it isn't. So my situation where I have a U.S. military card that covers outside of the United States, um, I'll just carry that card and that should be fine. There's nothing to say that it isn't fine. So now you've got a scoop. Okay, an update on what's going on with the Venezuelan situation and the project that I mentioned. Uh, I'm not trying to create another foundation. I mentioned that before. This is something where I felt I needed to do something and that's what I'm doing. And I've got five people now and most of them have a little bit of work going. So, you know, something's happening. They've got bus cards in their hands so they can get back and forth. But here's what I'm looking for. And it's really not a lot. I'm not looking for uh, really much more cash some immediate concerns were donated to and we're in pretty good shape there. I do have need for two cell phones. So if you have a cell phone, you went out and bought a new one and you've got one kicking around, you know, please let me know if, as long as it's functioning. Um, <clears throat> I need two of those. They have no way to communicate. Also, and I know this one's going to be a little tougher, but if anybody has a laptop that they're willing to donate, 
that is good enough to handle Skype calls. Doesn't have to be great, but if if you have that, that is sorely needed. Now, <clears throat> what is really needed is jobs. They don't want handouts. They don't want they they want to work. They want to work for what they get. They want to work, and so I had an idea. There's a little money, um, not much, $30, $30 or so, left over from what I've taken care of so far, what, what came in. Um, and my thinking is that there's probably a fair amount of gringos out there watching this, you know who you are, that don't use a housekeeper. And I get that, I, I don't uh, very often. Um, I have, I used one for a year straight, but I, you know, it's not that hard for me to clean up, so I don't. You might be in the same situation, and if you have a typical apartment that's going to run around $20, to, you, you say, well, you know, why spend $20? I'll make a deal with you. If you call or email to hire somebody to come do a cleaning, your first cleaning, I'll take some of that money that was donated, and I'll kick in $10 of that, to the $20. So you pay 10, that will pay 10. The people cleaning will get the full amount. You'll get a lifetime bargain for cleaning your place. And money that was given will go directly to a good cause. And also the people doing the work will feel like they're doing a work and will never, they'll be insulated from any feelings of scrounging for something or you know they're working for it and this is very important with everyone I've talked to. Uh, there's a, there's a strong integrity there that I just want to work I just want to work so here are the biggest needs for work house cleaners I've got a crew of three I've got a couple of others um, the crew of three will break up however you need it one two three four people I can get those there and that's what we need is jobs for housekeeping. One of the reasons I'm specifically looking at the gringo community is because I don't want to see people here their jobs taken. So I'm trying to reach out to where they're not going to take a job from a Quincana that they're actually it's a job created that didn't exist before so that there's no competition and these people can work and not have to feel like they put somebody else out of work. So I need house cleaning. I have one cultural guide and if you're new here you definitely want to hire her for at least a day or two but if you've been here for a little while you know up to six months or so she can help you out. She could teach you how to ride buses, um, how to handle taxis, how to go to the market, make sure that you're not getting ripped off. Um, you know, some basic things that, that help you live and survive here, as well as take you to different places uh, that you may not have seen. She can accompany you if you want to uh, take an afternoon trip to Chorter Lake and check out the town. It's a beautiful town. Reminds me of a little European village, a Swiss village, <laughs> but they have a lot of uh, silver, uh, jewelry there interesting but uh, you know she can ride along with you make sure that you get on the right buses you find your way back communicate for you when you're there or even help you negotiate if you're inclined to buy something El Choto waterfalls and you know and a nice 40 minute bus ride for a dollar uh, I have a Spanish teacher has a master's degree in languages and uh, taught language in Venezuela She's here. She has her first job uh, teaching Spanish on Skype. That's why she needs a laptop. Right now I have to set everything aside and let her use my laptop while that's going on. And it's okay for now, but she really needs to do that on her own. My laptop's on its last legs, and if I lose my laptop, then I can't do these videos anymore. So, you know, I, that's why I ask if anybody has a laptop for her. And she can also uh, teach Spanish here um, in a group or individually. Um, 
So keep that in mind. And lastly, um, I don't have the information to put up on the website just yet. I will in the next few days, but I've got at least one, possibly two, all around handymen. They were, you know, work as contractors, electrician, things like that they're familiar with and I know from time to time I see people asking who can I get to come here and fix a window or adjust a door or put in an extra plug so if you're looking for anything you know please send me off an email let me know and I'll see what I can set up for you um, so that's where we're at I'll get on this Salinas tape and uh, see you then You know you could